Hey, what's going on, everybody? Joseph Sadar here. Praise you guys are doing lovely, as always. Um, guys, I really wanted just to start by uh, just thanking you guys, man. All all of you guys for commenting, subscribing, you know, liking the channel and all of that. Like, it's, it's really been a blessing. I really appreciate your feedback. Um, you know, there's been a lot going on in my life recently. So it's, it's really, really good to know that, like, God is speaking to you all through me and, you know, and that I'm hearing him correctly, right? Um, it's good to know that this has been fruitful for you all. So, yeah, again, just thank you, thank you, thank you for the feedback and for subscribing and all that good stuff. You guys have been awesome. So, I had to start with that, and now we're going to go ahead and get into the prophetic word today. So, I'm really excited for whoever this is for, man. The, the title the Lord gave me is... God has seen all of what you've been through. God has seen all the, your time in the wilderness, and he's seen your uncompromising obedience toward him. I'm really excited to share this word, guys. I'm really excited for whoever it's for. This prophetic word is for those remnant believers, the ones who have been steadfast in their faith. You know, you've always upheld God's word and you've done your best to follow everything that's pertaining to life and godliness. That's seven that's second Peter one three. You know, you've kept God's commands out of pure obedience and you've endured your pruning process, which the Lord has produced a lot of good fruit in you. You've been through your wilderness experience and God has equipped you and you didn't walk away from him during that time. This word is for you. And please still take everything I'm about to say to the Lord, you know, to be sure. Um, not every prophetic word is for everyone, of course. And just remember to test the spirits, you know, just speak to the Father to be sure. Amen. All right. So I'll start with three scriptures. And first one is 11, uh, Hebrews eleven six. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In Matthew 3, 17, And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. And Psalm 84, 11 reads, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Such a beautiful, beautiful word of promise, guys. In this message, the Lord is wanting to say that he's seen your obedience to him all these years, my friends. He's seen all of what you've been through and what you've endured in the wilderness seasons. You know, this word is going to be such a breath of fresh air for some of you. Um, God is very much pleased and proud of your unending faith and obedience to him, especially during the tougher times in your life, you know, especially during those really, really tough moments. You know, he's seen every time you you chose him when it was hard and, you know, when you felt left out, counted out, and, you know, when you felt abandoned and frustrated. You know, he's, he's seen all those times. And he's seen the times when you walked righteously. You know, you haven't always been perfect, but when you fell down, you know, you, you chose to get back up and you chose to follow after righteousness. You know, God's seen all the tough sacrifices that you've made, you know, for his sake. It hasn't gone unnoticed, my friends. Understand that for sure. There's even been some of you who felt at times that, you know, God was against you. You know, you, you follow God so faithfully and, and you just wondered why things just haven't seemed to go right in your life. And, and you legitimately question, you know, if God was against you and if he was even for you. But beloved, God is saying that he is more than for you. And he's saying that none of the things that you've done for his name's sake, none of it has been in vain. None of it has been in vain. It's been recorded in heaven for, for your sake. <laughs> God is saying that he is immensely proud of you. He's, he's really proud of the stance 
that you've taken for him. You know, he, he's proud of how you've chosen to live your life truly unashamed of the gospel and how you've lived your life with such godly conviction. He's really proud of that. And like I said, you, you haven't been perfect, but you've lived your life in repentance and you lived your life following after God's heart. He's about to reward you immensely in ways that you never could have imagined, my friends. It's springing forth now, you know, and, and things are being set in a place. You know, he's already working. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And he withholds no good thing from those who walk uprightly. God is saying that you will be satisfied by the work of your hands and by your obedience and all of what you've done and all of what you sacrifice for Christ's sake. You will be satisfied. And let me break these promises down biblically. You know, Proverbs 12, 14 says, a man will be satisfied by the fruit of his mouth and the recompense of his hands. And Matthew 23, 12 says, whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Isaiah 41, 10, he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. The Lord is saying that these verses of prominence are for you, my friends. He's saying that they're for you. And let me further clarify it, guys. Like, this is payment time, you know, if you will. Uh, this is a time where what you've sown is about to harvest greatly. You know, the Lord isn't just bringing you into this magnificent place of prominence, you know, just because he's in a good mood or simply just because, you know, you've been a good boy or a good girl. No, God is saying that these things are happening by principle. Your obedience and faithfulness is ushering you into such favor. You know, you're about to be satisfied by the work of your hands because of what you sown. And don't get me wrong, like, I believe God sincerely wants to bless you just to bless you. And, but I also believe the Lord wants to say, because you've chosen to walk on this narrow road that many have not walked on and will not walk on, you're about to be tremendously rewarded for it. I can honestly talk all day, guys, about how, you know, you're about to be tremendously rewarded because you've diligently have sought him out. He's very, very proud of you guys. Like, really, he's very, very proud. And he's he's seen all of what you've been through and what you've done for him. And I believe the Lord wants me to say this, this one thing as well. It's something that I've personally struggled with, you know, in my life. And the Lord spoke this to me. So... I'm going to say it to you, and I know that a lot of you can resonate with this and will resonate with this. But the Lord said that when you come into the fullness of your promises and when you start to see everything happening in front of your eyes, you know, all those years of suffering, all those years of, you know, in, enduring the wilderness season, all those times of heartbreak, it, it's going to be like it never even happened. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's not even going to matter anymore. You know, you're not going to fret about those times, you know, like how some of you do now. And it's because God is truly doing something new. And a part of your new normal will be living by the fruit of your labor and living by the rewards, your obedience has brought you. That's going to be your reality. You know, your new normal is going to be God's miraculous and unique provision, you know, over your life. And you're going to see, you're going to fully see how everything you went through, all the suffering and enduring, you're going to see how it was never in vain. You know, that's going to be your new normal. God's word never returns void. He is faithful to complete the good work he started in you. 
you're not in the wilderness season anymore. You know, your new normal will be the fruit of your mouth and by the recompense of your hands, my friends. God has seen all of what you've been through. Your obedience has blessed you and it's going to continue to bless you in ways you never could have imagined, my friends. He won't withhold any good thing from those who walk uprightly. And that has been you over these years, my friends. God is good, amen? So guys, I pray this has tremendously blessed whoever it's for. And again, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. You know, it, it really means a lot during this time. And I'm doing it because God wants to talk to you all. And I'm just a willing vessel that he can use. So again, thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Pray that you all are blessed and be blessed. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. All right. Peace out, my friends.